worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim, proclaim your, your praise. praise. Glory, Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy, Holy, Spirit. Holy Spirit. As it, As it was, was in the beginning, in the beginning now, is now, it and will be forever. Amen. 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 Be joyful, joyful in the, the Lord, Lord all, all you lands. Serve, lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with the song. song. Know no, this, the Lord, Lord himself is God. God. He himself has made us, us and, and we are his. his. We are we his, are his people, people and then we have to this power. And enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give, praise. Give thanks, thanks to him and call upon his, his name. name. For the, the Lord, Lord is good. His, his mercy is everlasting. And his faithfulness endures from age to age. A reading from the book of Exodus. They came, everyone whose heart was stirred and everyone whose spirit was willing and brought the Lord's offering to be used for the tent of meeting and for all its service and for the sacred vestments. So, so they came, both men and women, all who were of willing heart, brought brooches and earrings and signet rings and pendants, all sorts of gold objects, everyone bringing an offering of gold to the Lord and everyone who possessed blue or purple or crimson yarn or fine linen or goat's hair or tanned ram skins or fine leather brought them. Everyone who could make an offering of silver or bronze brought it as the Lord's offering. And everyone who possessed acacia wood of any use in the work brought it. All the skillful women spun their hands and brought what they had spun in blue and purple and crimson yarns and fine linen. All the women whose hearts moved them to use their skill spun the goat's hair. And the leaders brought onyx stones and gems to be set in the ephod and the breastpiece and spices and oil for the light and for the anointing oil and for the fragrant incense. All the Israelite men and women whose hearts made them willing to bring anything for the work that the Lord had commanded by Moses to be done brought it as a free will offering to the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. 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 Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe, Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his, his name. name. Bring, Bring offerings, offerings and, and come, come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell him out among the nations. The Lord, the Lord is king. king. He, he has, has made, made the world, world so firm, firm that it cannot be moved. He, he will judge the peoples the with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. And then and all, all the trees of the trees wood shout for joy, shout for joy before, before the Lord when he comes, when he comes, when he comes, when he comes to, to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Glory, Glory to the Father and, and to the Son and, and to the and Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. 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 A reading from the Gospel according to John. Since it was the day of preparation, the Jews did not want the bodies left on the cross during the Sabbath, especially because that Sabbath was a day of great solemnity. So they asked Pilate to have the legs of the crucified men broken and the bodies removed. Then the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and of the other who had been crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once blood and water came out. 
He who saw this has testified so that you also may believe. His testimony is true, and he knows that he tells the truth. These things occurred so that the scripture might be fulfilled. None of his bones shall be broken. And again, another passage of scripture says, they will look on the one whom they have pierced. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. So our teaching today addresses Renaissance art and their sacred uh, product. It's beautiful. In the 16th century, as the Renaissance and the Reformation changed the cultural, social, political, and religious space of Northern Europe from medieval to modern, three artists stand as signs of those revolutions. Lucas Cranach, the elder, was born in South Germany. In his 20s, he moved to Vienna, where he became known in humanist circles. He later moved to Wittenberg, where he became court painter to Frederick III, who was Martin Luther's protector. His work enjoyed great popularity in his day, but history best remembers him for his several portraits of Luther and for the exquisite woodcuts he provided for the first German New Testament in 1522. Albrecht Dürer was born in Nuremberg and is generally regarded as the greatest German artist of the Renaissance. While he produced exquisite lifelike paintings, he is best known for his woodcuts and copper plate engravings. This art form enabled numbers of prints to be made of each work, which could then be sold to satisfy the rising middle class's new demand for affordable art. His production was a sign of the shift in early modern society, especially in Protestant areas, from the church to the home as the center of life and religion. Little is known of the early life of Matthias Grunewald, the name given to this artist by his 17th century biographer. He is known to have been in Strasbourg in 1479, already accomplished at portraits and woodcuts. He went to Basel in 1490, where Dürer was his pupil. Later, he moved to what is now Alsace, where he painted his famous Isenheim altarpiece between 1512 and 1516. This piece was designed to go behind the chapel altar at the hospital in the monastery of the Order of St. Anthony. Grunewald was a deeply religious man who was particularly fascinated by the crucifixion as witnessed by the combination of raw physicality and mysticism that can be observed in the Isenheim altarpiece. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive the gifts of the Christ against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine for is the kingdom, kingdom and the power, power, and the power and glory forever, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Lord, hear our prayer. And let and our cries come to you. Let us pray. We give thanks to you, O Lord, for the vision and skill of Albrecht Dürer, Matthias Grunewald, and Lucas Cranach the Elder whose artistic depictions helped the peoples of their age understand the full suffering and glory of your incarnate son. And we pray that their work may strengthen our faith in Jesus Christ and the mystery of the Holy Trinity. For you live and reign one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Siblings, God commands us through Jesus Christ to love one another. In baptism, we promise to seek and serve Christ in all persons 
loving our neighbors as ourselves, and to strive for justice and peace and the respect the dignity of every human being. Let us now honor these our vows and let us pray for our nation, for wise and just leaders, and for the needs of others throughout our country and the world. We pray for continued blessings on all peacemakers, on leaders who value peace, and on everyone who promotes nonviolent solutions to conflict. We pray for a speedy end to all violence and warfare around the world. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our, Hear our prayer. We pray for the strength of heart and mind to look beyond ourselves and address the needs of our siblings throughout the world, for the rural and urban poor, for the rebuilding of our communities, and for an end to the cycles of violence that threaten our future. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all nations that they may live in unity, peace, and concord and that all people may know justice and enjoy the perfect freedom that only God can give. We pray especially for our sisters and brothers in Cuba and Haiti. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We commend our nation to the Lord's care. Grant to Joseph, our president, Andrew, our governor, and to all in authority, wisdom and strength to know and to do the Lord's will. Fill them with the love of truth and righteousness and make them ever mindful of their calling to serve the people of this land. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our We pray for the church militant throughout the world that it may be an instrument of your healing love. We pray especially for Justin of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Larry, our bishop, Lauren, our rector, and Kurt, our rector emeritus. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our, our prayer. We pray that the Holy Spirit may embrace the most vulnerable members of our society. We pray also for an end to the growing disparity between the rich and the poor and for the grace and courage to strive for economic justice. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for an end to prejudice throughout our country and the world, that we will respect all people as precious children of God, and that discrimination based on ethnic, religious, and gender differences will be forever banished from our hearts our society, and our laws. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for a reverence of creation, that we will have the tools and the will to conserve it, that we will use its resources in the service of others, and that we will become better stewards of all that has been entrusted to us. God of love, in your mercy. Hear we pray for all immigrants, refugees, and pilgrims from around the world, that they may be welcomed in our midst and be treated with fairness, dignity, and respect. God of love, in your mercy. Hear Hear our prayer. Prayer. Bless, O oh Lord, physicians, nurses, first responders, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. We pray especially for Dr. Elizabeth Engelman, Dr. Dan Griffin, Dr. Jeff Karowski, Dr. Rachel Simpson, Karen Liu, Ava Longmire, Brenda Marshall, Susan Dietz Massengill, mm -hmm. Kat Bates, Norena Guerra, and those responding to natural and human-made disasters. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, the aged, and the infirm. 
for those with physical or mental disabilities, that all may have access to proper health care, and that God's loving embrace may be felt by all who suffer. We hold before you especially Hank, Peter, Bob, Joe, Nina, Shirley, Mark, Pam, MB, Marion, Clay, Kai, Frank, Mark, Michael, Kimberly, Ta Tina, Carol, Sue D, Todd, Debbie, Carol, Larry, Stephanie, Einstein, Danny M, the Reverend Liz Tunney, Brianna Maglio, Father Guy, who was sitting vigil for his mother, the residents who lost their homes due to the wildfires in the Western US and Canada, and those hurt by the recent rash of gun violence in our nation, and all those affected by COVID-19. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all prisoners and captives that a spirit of forgiveness may replace vengeance and retribution, and that we, with all the destitute, lonely, and oppressed, may be restored to the fullness of God's grace. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all children and families, and particularly for the orphaned, neglected, abused, and those who live in fear of violence or disease, that they may be relieved and protected. God of love, in your mercy. Hear, Hear our prayer. prayer. We commend to you, Lord, all who have died, especially the Reverend Angela V. Askew, the five young men who died in the car crash in Quag on July 24th, yes. those who died in the wildfires in the Western US and Canada, the indigenous children who lost their culture and their lives at residential schools in the US and Canada, those killed nationwide as a result of gun violence and the millions worldwide who have died from COVID-19. May they rest in peace. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your son. Watch over our country now and in the days ahead. Bring an end to discord that threatens our democracy and make your ways known among all people. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Let us bless the Lord. Thank you, God. God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.